for the final round of the BMW Mini Rallycross Championship. We're at Croft in North Yorkshire. And there's something different for the drivers this weekend, a standalone race for the final, rather than running with the Super 1600s and with the hot hatches. And that means that David Bell, who tops the points after qualifying, is going all out for a race win. Martin Hawks leads the championship by seven points from Drew Bellaby. That's on the line as well. The grid is formed then, ready for the start of the last race of the season. It's raining, the wind is picking up, the road is very slippery indeed. David Bell shares the front row with Martin Hawks and Kiefer Hudson. Rob Methold is on row two with Chris Hudson. And then Drew Bellaby shares the back row with Andrew Hawks and Lee Freeman. The lights in a moment will blink green, which they do, and we are racing as the cars surge away now, then down towards Clairvaux Corner for the first time. David Bell makes a decent start, but around the outside comes Martin Hawks now to try and find the race lead. Is he going to be able to do it? He breaks as late as he does. It's so slippery, and that getting it all wrong is Kiefer Hudson. And Drew Bellaby is sideways and in strife as well, and she's heading for the grass on the inside of the track. That is going to throw Drew Bellaby to the back of the order and also cost her any chance of winning the championship, seemingly, as Chris Hudson goes second on the inside there. Chris Hudson then. Mini Cross graduate sets off now ahead of David Bell in pursuit of Martin Hawks as they come across the loose for the first time. Hawks thinking about a race win and a championship win here. The cars bounce their way across the rather rutted infield. It's been raining quite heavily all afternoon. It's washed a little bit of the road away and it means that it's very bumpy and very slippery indeed now. Of course, when the drivers come back towards the tarmac, they're bringing that slippery mud with them and making the tarmac slippery. The rain adding to this to make the road very dirty indeed. So visibility is at a premium. Wipers work overtime and Chris Hudson's second suddenly slows as he hits the tarmac. The car looked a little bit, dare one say, wobbly there and he has slowed right down into the paddock. Chris Hudson then is out. Kiefer Hudson takes up the challenge now against David Bell with Rob Methel behind him. Rob Methold turns his way through, but you can see now just how grubby the road is becoming. It is so muddy, so slippery all the way around. A challenge made through the chicane. Kiefer Hudson desperately trying to find his way up past the car of Lee Freeman, running in the same colours as David Bell. So Freeman from the back row of the grid here, about to lose track position to a hard charging. Kiefer Hudson trying to make amends for the dramas he had at the start of the race and that's brave right round the outside as they come down towards the hairpin. Can he get the car slowed down in time? Yes he can but he's on the outside line so Freeman goes back ahead of him and Rob Methel joins in the battle as well now. Kiefer Hudson should have the momentum, yes he does, the Mini Cross graduate goes charging past but a long way up the road now is Martin Hawks. Rob Methel now comes up to sort out Lee Freeman as well. And Rob Methol runs out of road, going through Clairvaux, skips his way back onto the circuit. Meanwhile, Kiefer Hudson pushing on, trying to catch the race leaders now. Rob Methol peering through what little visibility he's got on the windscreen, whereas this man, Martin Hawks, has got the advantage of being in front, nobody throwing the mud and the spray into his face. He now can control the race, and he's on target to win the championship. By staying ahead of Drew Bellamy, he's going to take the title. There, David Bell, former champion, running in second spot. And Lee Freeman is keeping Rob Methold at bay here. Down they come towards the hairpin. Lee Freeman, part of the David Bell team for the weekend. And he's keeping Rob Methold at bay as they come now up towards the end of the lap. Rob Methold is quicker and he tries to sort out a sideways Freeman. They touch, bodywork flies. And now Rob Methold gets up the inside. They touch again. Methold does go through though. Kiefer Hudson turns out of Clairvaux Corner. He's doing his level best to get onto terms with the race leaders, and he's the most flamboyant out there. Sliding the car through Hawthorne. The hardy spectators that have stayed to watch this final being treated to a very competitive fight, and it includes Drew Bellaby getting back into the mix and a big lose ahead. That's Lee Freeman. Does he hang on to it? Just about. Martin Hawks, in the meantime, then ticks off the laps and he's heading towards this year's championship. David Bell, who we've not really seen that much of this season, and certainly when he has been in the series, hasn't been as competitive as in previous years, is aiming to go out on a high here. But again, the gap is just too great between him and the race leader, Martin Hawks. They've threaded their way past the bits of bodywork lying on the road. Drew Bellaby up ahead of Lee Freeman's lightweight car now with the rear valance ripped asunder. 
But Drew Bellaby looks as though she's going to have to give up the chance of winning the championship. Martin Hawkes won here at the start of the season. He won at Lydon and then took honours again in both races at Pembrey. Drew Bellaby had a good couple of rounds. Pembrey in the first Mondello round mid-season. David Bell did win at Mondello Park. But that's been his sole victory of the season. Rob Methold has been there or thereabouts all season, getting more and more competitive. But there is just no stopping this man, it seems, because Martin Hawkes is on target for the win. David Bell shadowing his every move, but he's going to run out of time, seemingly. The car's now turned down towards the hairpin. Martin Hawkes, who has got better and better season on season within this championship, sprints his way now up towards the line to start the last lap. Through they come, the gap's coming down. But even if David Bell does get close enough to challenge, can he find a way through? Race leaders together. Hawkes versus Bell. David Bell closing. And as they accelerate now out of Hawthorne up towards the chicane, it's really going to have to be down at the hairpin, I suspect, as Rob Methol runs wide. The hairpin's going to be David Bell's last chance, but Rob Methol off the road at Clairvaux. Another big, big slide from Kiefer Hudson and more contact as Methol gets shoulder charged onto the grass. In fact, that was Drew Bellaby getting sideways. She was able just to hang on to it, but the net result of all that was big contact. So she was emulating Kiefer Hudson. Trouble is, there was a bit of elbows out racing in all of that, but they have all survived it. Martin Hawks versus David Bell up towards the line. They are going to come through absolutely together. Martin Hawks, though, will win the BMW Mini final and the championship to go with it. A great season, crowned with another victory. That makes it five outright wins for him. And a big slide for Drew Bellaby gives up the place to Rob Methold. She understeers herself way out wide. Rob Methold goes through and Drew Bellaby has to give up a place and give up the championship quest as well. It's been a very slippery final round, but an all-action race at Croft. So let's get the race result down first of all. Martin Hawkes, the winner from David Bell. Kiefer Hudson third ahead of Ron Methold and then Drew Bellaby fifth ahead of Lee Freeman and the reserve, Frankie Helliwell. Martin Hawkes wins the BMW Mini Rallycross Championship. Drew Bellaby is the runner-up. Former champion David Bell third ahead of Andrew Hawkes at the end of a great season.